As with most roles, the human resources professions, there is a fairly clear profile, personality-wise, as to what represents someone who will perform and stay and be engaged in this kind of work. And in our personality questionnaire, we've identified five really key traits we think underpin these outcomes. Firstly, we have a trait we call empathetic. HR people need to be empathetic, need to empathise with your workforce. It is really key, because if you can't empathise with your workforce, there's a whole load of responsibilities you won't be able to do effectively or understand. Then we have cooperative. Now, often HR are relied upon to mediate conflict, so you need to be very cooperative and make sure things are smooth running and not exasperate conflict. Then we have the trait we call trusting. Now, it is really important trust in the people around you. It is essential. And people who don't put trust in other people are often reflecting on themselves. Often they are themselves perhaps untrustworthy and they project that onto other people. You want people who are capable of trust. Then we have what we call composure. And again, you need people who can be level-headed, people that don't think, take things too personally, people who don't react very negatively to difficulties and conflict and problems. They need to keep a level head because they're often relied upon to be the voice of reason. And then finally, we have emotional awareness. They need to be able to understand both their own emotions and those of other people. It's really key in HR. You're working with human beings who are emotional creatures. They need to be able to understand that wavelength and to be able to communicate in those terms. Overall, these are the five most important traits that we can find when it comes to HR professional performance.